Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Grand Ages Medieval. We're still building up a bit of an empire. We do have a stack of uh, three military units here. We didn't actually build any archers, even though we have the means to do it. Maybe I should build a couple of archers before we move on a little bit here. Uh, we do have the means to do it. There we go. Archers. Um, ooh, it's going to take quite a few people. Ten grand. We do have the money, though. Let's go ahead and queue up one. What the hell is this? Infestation of rats. I'm assuming that means... Our grain is going to get eaten? I don't know. But we'll go as is. We'll, we'll queue up that archer, maybe to use it as defense. Uh, but I want to, like, attack this town. I actually have no idea how to do it. And we are playing a pre-release version of the game. At this point, there's no um, particular... Uh, I don't even have a manual. But we're going to fake it. So if I click in the town, does it do anything? No. Do I have to... I probably have to declare war. Assistance with something. We've got a transit agreement. You want fish. I don't know. Maybe I should just make friends with this guy. I don't have an unlimited war chest. But you're my only opponent right now. Is there I'm going to cancel else? that. Degrade an alliance. No more agreement. I hope you're not planning to assault me. I don't declare war. Do I have to wait? Oh, there we go. 11 turns. As you come on. Well, then let's wait. We'll get that archer at some point. Oh, do I have another idle merchant? Really? Um... And we got a lot of people with shortages. What are you missing? Oh, more stuff there. Okay, tell you what. You're going to go straight from... Whoa. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So you're the idler. And you had that route. Okay. Pre-programmed in, but you weren't actually doing it. I don't know, whatever. You just bounce between these two. The journey begins. Keep supplying these guys with grain and honey. Because i got to make sure the pastries keep rocking and rolling over here. So that should eliminate the shortage of goods. That's my uh, military here. Slowly building up. There we go. You don't have a shortage anymore. You are missing construction materials. I think what I'll do is do a trade. Yeah, you've got unlimited wood. So let's go and get you... you in oh! Commodities? You don't actually trade metals or um, tools. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Are you carrying tools? That's a neutral trader. The tools have to come from over here. We do have a trade route between the two, though. I'm really thinking, you know what we're going to do with this bakery here? Yeah, we're going to demolish that. And we're going to replace the bread with tool making. There we go. And we'll queue up a couple of them to be built. Which will cost me a fair bit of money. <clears throat> Can I declare war over here yet? Oh, no. Nope. Six more weeks. I don't think... I still don't think our archer is going to be done in time, though. Building squad. Like, I don't know why you move Onto building it. squad around. Because they just build roads instantly. I don't know. I'll stick you in Constantinople. We'll figure it out. Oh. Four more. This will be work 36. Oh, there we go. There's my new troops. Well, I guess they will be there in time. So we'll wait for the archers to arrive, and then we'll try to declare war and see exactly what that looks like. Development. Oh, we do have... We did level up again. Um, I'm going to go for... Possibility to build an office so towns can create large stocks of commodities. I'm, I'm f concerned that that's a mistext. Yeah. See, it actually lets me build a warehouse. So that's just a typo. That makes a lot of sense. Because I can already create offices. That's something else. Um... Manual trade routes. Yeah, these I can live without. The free worker thing. We're going to take that because that I think will pay off pretty well. And the construction yard, especially since it load, leads to other things. We're going to go ahead and pop that. Are my troops together? No. Where's my archer? There he is. They're sort of using the roads, but barely. I don't think these really accelerate things too much. The journey's the goal. All right. Can I declare oh, war? No. I have no idea. This is probably going to be really bad. War? Oh, you had an alliance with someone? Oh, just Stop a mayor, though. Okay, attack the town. Hey, I got an achievement for that. Aggressor. So, am I going to siege? Oh, there we go. They've got some units. Nice, Everyone fight. Not particularly high-tech combat. This is not, uh, like, total war or anything. Town under siege. Ah, will eventually break, probably. Today, you're at war for the first time. Your units will attack enemy units automatically if they come too close. Please note the hints and rules. Units of the war. Okay. Town near you is under siege. Yes, well, I'm doing that. 
Um, I'm wondering if I should build more units down here. And I think the answer is going to be yes. Let's get uh, another set of archers, and then we can move them in con to Constantinople or wherever might need some extra defenses. So right now, we have more troops here, so that should be good. And yeah, and there we go. Finally, all my troops are considered to be idle. That is very loud. Very loud indeed. There, archers seem to be properly archering. Town still is considered to be under siege. I have a bigger number than they do. Oh, town under siege, 100%. Okay, good. So, I guess if I didn't have enough troops, the town wouldn't actually be under siege. And presumably, over time, um, they might surrender? Oh, no. no. What else are you trying to sell me? Can only succeed. So, we don't have that. Hmm. I wonder what peace looks like, or how you take over a town. We will find out. So, building an extra unit. I think that's good. We don't actually get, like... A quick way to tell how the battle is progressing. I just gotta assume I got more dudes. Um, I can tell you that axes would be good right now, which we don't have that tech for. But apparently the axemen are good against pole arms. But at least they're not using axes against my pole arms, and we do have archery support, so presumably we're still doing okay. All right, we don't have a ton of cash, so I'm mostly gonna leave things be. Let our traders do what they do best. Uh, you are complaining about a shortage of building materials. Well. Finish the smithy, and then that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Right? Probably? We hope? Continuing to mostly just fast forward. Ah, I think they are retreating. Are you retreating, or are you chasing these guys down? I don't know. Good idea. Let's get going. Okay, I think they were actually setting up the siege. Maybe they'll remove or, or alternate again or something, because there was a bit of progress. They're shifting about. Okay, yeah, I think they were already sieging. Uh, 1%. Okay, so now that they're not fighting, progress is happening. That's good. Have any of my dudes taken any real losses? Oh, I think they auto-reinforce as well. Or no, that's fighting power from experience points. So the mercs and these spearmen took a little bit of damage, but not a whole hell of a lot. That's good. Trading and trading. Aha, new unit, that archer. It was mostly there to babysit Constantinople, but maybe I can... Well, I don't think I can siege it any harder than this. So I probably do have excess rolling. troops. We've got the route already. You know, it's let's have you move far. up here. Can that When this siege completes, we will move up to the next city over here, which might be a higher level city. I suspect this was a relatively new city, so it, uh, I know they're easier to siege. So maybe the next one won't be quite as easy. Money is still positive. Let's take a look at our empire and our overall balance. Is there some production costs? Yeah, but that will go away. Trader's cargo capacity. That diplomacy chart. That's cool. Um, trading routes. So... So my routes are profitable, which is good. Oh, oh, you have a highest workload. Yes, that's something I keep forgetting about. Cart. Let's give you a cart. And you. Aren't in town where you can have a cart yet. Maybe what we'll do... Track... Wait, what's this? Oh! Oh, that's sending the workers. Cool, okay. Um, I'm just gonna see about queuing up an extra cart in all the cities that I have. That way, no matter where my people are, I can always throw on an extra cart. Because there's a chart somewhere it'll show. Yeah, right here. So Bursa's got a couple extra carts. You don't. They're not very expensive. Just 20 wood. So we may as well go ahead and do that. Because the last thing I want is some trade route where the workers aren't actually able to... Um, or the traders aren't able to pick up everything that they want. Um, money's fine. I'm going to start building it in here. It gives you some more options. I'll wait on the others. Archer is still moving up there. Siege percentage, 12%. Alright, I guess nothing to do but to wait. Nice early war. Nice chunk of siege progress there. Traders are tradering. Things are happening. None of my towns are complaining about anything, which is good. Upswing, upswing. I mean, they're not huge, but there is some upswinging happening. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if my trade routes are arranged in a sensible way, but I mean, overall, we're making a profit. Can't complain about that. Town is going. All right, I'm just holding down the space to uh, speed at times 10 as much as possible. I will want to pull in Antalya into my, my overall network soon. Hell, I could go conquer them, I suppose. But I think, oh, another town over there. Um, I think the thing to do will be to keep using my troops up here against an actual opponent while I basically just bribe my way into these guys. One of these is mine. The other one's a neutral trader. Not one I have control over. Um, so you, you love me. Oh, we don't have a whole lot of relationship there. You have a good offer for me? Yeah, why don't I just um, sympathy you? I don't have a ton of money. Never mind. You know what? Let's hold off. Be nice if they gave me a mission. Town does love me, though. And that's about ready to flip over. Sorry about the dog barking in the background, guys. Missing raw materials for everything yet, because you are being sieged out. And what we're going to have to do is grab a trader. There we go. Hostile takeover. You're mine now. You need quite a few raw goods. You are a very industrially kind of town. Um, you need grain for that. You'll need coal for that. Grain and honey. Hmm. Anyway, let's move our troops up to it's the next one. Far. And then figure out one of these trade routes. You. Who are you? Yeah, you're doing that long distance run to Ankara. I think that's got to stop. Hey, new rank. Cool. I think that definitely needs to stop. Instead, we're going to go from Bursa to here to Adrianople to here, to Constantinople, to here. Just keep feeding in a variety of goods to you as much as possible. And instead of balanced, I'm actually going to prioritize production. Because you'll pr uh, prioritize the stuff for businesses. And I like that. Development points. Alright. Um, I want the smithery. So we produce things faster and we get more metals. I like that because that's going to come in handy. Pomp is a pure luxury commodity and for its production, pottery, and metal. Oh, interesting. Um, more crops might be good. I'm going to unlock the Axemen. Just in case we need it. Alright. Opposite po possibility to upgrade a trading road to trading streets. Increase traveling speed by 30%. That's going to be really useful. So how do we do that? We've got our builder. Send road, build road. Like, do I just say Constantinople to here? No. Extend road is not... Oh! Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, with extend road selected, I've got a little upgrade. Okay, that one's going to be important. Um, Because of the long distances involved. Oh, oh, that's very expensive. It's still going to be worth doing this one, though. It takes a long time. Okay, so the little path is free and instant. But building an actual street takes time and is expensive, and that's fair. It's a long road, though. It's worth it. I think I'm going to put a town in between here at some point. Meanwhile, combat. While they're not actual combat, they're sieging it out. We do have um, town under siege, but we should have 100% coverage, don't we? Ooh, a little scout came over. We're going to kill that first. Overall, I think this is going to drop perfectly fine. 1,600 people in this town. Produce a few more raw goods. That's going to be very helpful. Oh, I can actually hire a new trader as well. I forgot about that when I took over this town. I could have just hired a trader. In fact, who's my dude with the crazy trader out over here? Where is... Hmm. Huh. Is it you? It is you. I'm going to trim down your route here, buddy. You'll go... You can go Adrianople to there, Constantinople to there. That is fine. Then in Bursa, we're going to hire a new trader. Once he's built, his job's going to go to Bursa 
to Craiova, which is going to become a pretty amazing town. Meanwhile, Siege Progress, it is going. These units are, of course, expensive, but that should be okay. Uh, that Bing was my new trader. Good. We're going to set up a route. You go from Bursa to Craiova, and we activate the route. Journey begins. You're going to pick up a lot of goods. Excellent. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Uh, cancel Sir. the route. Go back here. You're going to get an extra cart. Actually, you're going to grab two carts. Activate the, the route. Because I suspect... Yeah, 300 goods worth. You could even use more carts. I will queue up an extra couple of carts in my capital here. So we've got them. Um, you over here. You've got the 200 already. You've got a 200, that's fine. Oh, you can't... You will want a cart when we get over there. I'm going to watch you, I suppose, for now. You can pick up a cart in Izmir, since apparently you could make use of it. What about over here? 200 of 200. Grab an extra cart, my friend. Really start these goods moving around. Alright, if we grab this, we're going to split this guy's empire in half. At some point, we might want to de uh, declare peace, but honestly, ooh, negative money. Okay, there we go. Ooh, money's a little tight. Um, how is my balance sheet looking? Negative right now. Now, some of that includes the production cost. Or no, production cost is the actual cost of producing goods. This is not building cost. Building construction over here. Military upkeep is a little high. A lot of things are high. We do have some extra traders. Plundering instance. Bandits and troops automatically plunder enemy traders when they come in range. Battle report. Okay. Chronicles. Um, fights. Plunder. You've been plundered. Oh, Christ. That's not good. That's a long road, and there could easily be some enemy troops around here. We have a lot of traders that are going here. Oh, right there. The scouts. We'll put some troops in the middle. Dang. Okay, there's the actual pop-up for it. Alright, some we trade is going to happen. Well, although this guy may have been empty. Unable to supply the troops. Did my troops we just have to read? Oh my god. Alright, let's, let's fix our economy here. Um, can I diplomacy this guy at this point from here? Do I have to send a unit over that way? We've had it. We've had it. You've had it. You got no morale because you're not receiving pay. We are broke. All right, let's disband some of these guys. Uh, disband the mercs. Free at last. Oh, you become free workers. That's cool. And a spearman. Everyone to the end. And another archer. We're gonna disband all of you. Everyone. To the end. That'll fix our money woes. And yeah, I think we'll have to peace out. We did take a town, but next time we'll uh, be a little bit more prepared. We're still losing some money. Come on, traders. There we go. There we go. We got lots, but we have to be worried. Our cash flow can go back and forth. Refuses due to lack of morale. Can I, like, send you to a city where you might be able to get morale? Nope, you just don't move at all. Okay. Missing some raw materials. We are going to ship some over there, though. Don't worry, buddy. You'll be supplied soon enough. Um, did my path get upgraded? Or did that get cancelled out? Or are you still building? Oh, this, they're lightly paved. Okay, so that's like a level 1 road. Okay, we will have to upgrade more roads, but not yet. You're carrying lots of goods. You're actually capped out. You can't, um... Oh, we can. Oh, but you have no wood. Never mind. You've got a couple of carts, and you know what? I'm going to order another one there. And I think Bursa, we used all of your carts. No, you still have two. Go ahead and grab one, since you are capped again. You're at 300. You should be okay. Do I still have no morale? Now nah, they have some morale. All right, hang out over there. That's going to be fine. Uh, or no, you know what? Come it's over this way so we can initiate some diplomacy. Entrench. Oh, that's cool. It's not too far. Oh, diplomacy. 
What else are you trying to sell me? How about yeah, neutrality? Can I just offer you this? This offer is on accept. I might have to give him some money. It's not too. Can I far. plunder? Oh, apparently not. Well, maybe I can park in the middle here. Let's move. And Ooh, he's got some troops. What is this? He's got a pole arm. It's okay. not too far. Pull back. You know what? The spearman. I'll leave in the middle. Sort of spot. Maybe counter some stuff. We'll come back later on. Um, build a Reno. We can go ahead and do some upgrades. Let's upgrade this route over here. That's not even that expensive. Oh, can I only upgrade out of the town I'm in? Because I couldn't upgrade over here. Or the... They're already upgraded, but I didn't do that. Maybe through use, or maybe the neutral towns upgraded them. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Alright, money's piling up. Hell, maybe we won't peace out. Maybe I'll just, like, wait until we've got, you know, three or four hundred thousand in the bank, and then just spam out a bunch of military units. I actually wouldn't be opposed to building another town over here. Although I should probably wait until peace. Just in case. Oh, 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 oh. That was Hi. a scout. Running around over here. Let's move. Hmm. We're gonna have to start building some of those forts. We don't have the tech for it yet. Oh, there's our builderino. Huh. I got an achievement for lull. I'm assuming that's like a lull in the war here. So what are you still missing? Well, lots of just raw materials for your, your manufacturing. Um. Well, you can produce... Oh, no, you can't produce any of it yourself. You've got this going on, which is a thing. You can produce some goods. Yeah, you're so dependent on trade. We really do have to get this. Really do have to get that other town. So, we'll wait. There's builder is ready to go. So, those have all been upgraded. Everything here is fine. We've got a battle going on. Oh, we caught... Oh, we can further upgrade these Let's roads. Cool. Work. There we go. I think we killed those scouts. That's really handy. Because they were potentially pillaging my stuff, and I don't like that. So again, we'll wait for money to mostly charge up. Although, I won't stop improving these roads. I think there's a lot of value in doing that sort of thing. Now you're just a little trail. Well, I guess you never got upgraded. Maybe you got cancelled. More battles. Archers. On the way. Get down here. Oh, one of these is bandits, I think. Bandits in there, and the enemy scouts are in there. Come on, archer. Join in the battle. Okay, archers are archering. That should be helpful. Saber fighters. I don't like that at all. I think we've got to go and uh, build some more proper units. Axemen. More archers. Bonus against blunt bladed weapons. That's perfect. It's exactly the sort of crap we're dealing with. How is the spearman holding up? Morale is still really good. He's losing some dudes. That's okay. They got plenty of supply. Oh no, they're about to get finished off. Flee! Retreat. You can get reinforced, and my archer. You're also gonna flee in a second here. I'll let you take a little bit of damage Retreat. now, and then flee. Military unit just got finished here. As you come on. So that'll give us a slightly better composition. We gotta wait for this guy to reinforce, though. And he is getting some, so that's something. Archer... Oh, did the archer get wiped out? Oh, he retreated over here. There you go. Get over there. Our trade routes may be getting pillaged here. Let's 
Saber Fighters Scout. I'm thinking one of these guys, there are, they're just random brigands, which is not as bad. I mean, they'll still pillage my routes, which sucks, but I was worried about, like, losing battles to my actual opponent in the war, On which the would way. be pretty devastating. So you'll still reinforce out here, right? Entrenched units are seen later by opponents and only attack opponents when they've been discovered. Oh, so they, they the spy. I know that forests do, like, do line of sight stuff, so we can it's take advantage of that far. stuff, which is cool. Or that's potentially Aye. what my own opponents are doing to me. As good as done. On the way. I heard a bandit camp for the first time. Oh, there! Bandits that waylay and rob your traders are dispatched from these camps. Use the troops to attack and destroy these camps. Be careful. Older it is, the better defend it will be. Well, well, well. Okay. I mean, our pikemen are still going to suck. Oh, can I not really? Can't shift add to the box select? That's annoying. What if I hold control? Ah, control works. Okay. Time to start crawling. Let's group everyone up. Pikemen are still a little on the weak side. But I think we have a pretty big numbers advantage otherwise. Oops. Let's get going. There we go. Let's kill the enemy scout. Which should be pretty easy to do. Archers may have taken some extra beatings, but otherwise we should be able to slaughter this guy pretty handily. Now even the archer didn't take too much damage. There we go. The way. That was a scout belonging to uh, what's his face, my actual it's enemy. Too far. But yeah, we've got to go and kill this camp. It'll give my troops some experience points, so that's something. Money is stable. I shouldn't build I any more troops rolling. than this. Under siege. Actually, they have a surprising amount of crap. Wow. Why might we might need a lot more than this? We'll keep an eye on things. We might have to retreat them here. But what I have to do right now is put a cut in this episode. Oh, cliffhanger there. Do we clear out the bandit encampment or not? Do we return to war against your other opponent or not? Money is stable. We could probably afford another army um, to send out there and hopefully keep it well supplied. Um, did, the, did that road ever get finished this time? Yeah, see, that, now it's got the nice brick path and our builder is once again idle. Wonderful. And they have another scout going on. Jeez, the AI likes to build those scouts. All right, thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.